They actually thought I was dead for the longest time. They said, he has to be dead. We killed everyone. I, like, 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 like a lot of people were listening to the radios. Like I said, radios were, were fairly common back in the 1960s and 1970s. And they were talking about a person that they were looking for. And they, and they were saying, he has to be dead. Uh, we killed everyone and all that kind of stuff and this kind of stuff. And the, the person that they were trying to kill was me. And um, I think they were trying to kill my parents and they were trying to kill, not Rodney or Rosalie, but my other parent. They, they thought my parents were German because there was a photograph of me and some Germans at some point in time or something like that. And so they thought my parents were German or something, I think, or something like that. I'm not exactly sure, but they were killing, like I said, they're, they're killing blonde-haired children. They're killing, they, they, they were killing, uh, killing Germans, uh, basically looking for me, I think, because they wanted to kill me. But I'm the creator to twelve races, you know. Um, like like Nixon, I'm pretty sure if he had found me, would have would have would have would have walked straight up to me and put a bullet right in my head if he could have. So because I mean, you know, Brian Briley is I'm Lucifer Star. So I mean, they wanted me. You know, I'm I'm the one who named America. I'm the one who owns the White House and the Washington the White Washington D.C. building. And that's another problem with me making these videos and people finding out that, that, that I'm Lucifer Star is that once I'm dead and gone, that's it. No more Lucifer Star. Of course, technically, they, they, they've they already played out all the, the Lucifer Czars and Lucifer Caesars and Larry Snars and and Larry uh, or, 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 or Laramie Snar Snargle or whatever. Yeah. They were guessing my name for the longest time, trying to figure out what my name was. But, you know, it's Lucifer Star. You know, they, they, they might have been able to guess the star part, and, but, not the, but not the L part. Anyway. Or the whole part of the Lucifer. L-U-I-L-U-S-I-F-E-R. So, anyway, they, 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 they were trying to guess my name, but they couldn't. And I'm the name, and Lucifer Star is the name of the creator. Also, Brian Briley. Me. So, also, some people call me stretchy. But, or just all. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. But it's still me. So, anyway. And that's another problem is because once I'm dead, well, then I've died. And that's the, and that's the death of the creator of, of the human race and some exoskeletons and also some 1.5 life forms. That's it. And I knew that they were my life form. So anyway. And then I'm gone from the world and from existence and finally it's over. And that's and, I, and with the death of me is also the also the death of the person who named America and also the death of Lucifer Lucifer Star. So anyway. Yep. And also in 900 trillion years Humans had one chance on Earth to spend time with me. And this is it. This was the humanity's one chance to spend time with me. The Creator. And once Brian dies, me, that's it. No more. I'm also the one, you know, that started the fashion shows and everything else. They tried, they were trying to say that my Auschwitz was, was a prison camp and a death camp. And it's like, no, it wasn't. I mean, it might have been at some point in time, but not until way, way after some renovations or something. It started out as just being being a farm and everything else like that, and it just grew. Anyway, whatever. You know, I, I don't really care anymore. Um, we're also doing some ra so some radiation experiments there, and they were saying, oh, they're doing radiation experiments there. You know, not reading the details or, or even finishing the sentence, like 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 in all those in uh, all those Nixon-based uh, inquisitions. Uh, they, they would only read like bits and pieces of the statement. They wouldn't even allow them to, to, to read the whole thing. And they were taking everything out of context. You know, it was ridiculous. Anyway, though, but, 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 but basically we, we, we were working on the food safe stuff for, for basically doing radiation uh, treatment on, on, you know, that, that kills salmonella and stuff like that. And basically, the, the research that we did at Auschwitz basically saved millions upon billions of people's lives from salmonella and other uh, bacterial agents that could be added to, to meat. Like I said, it was funny because we had tested, tested the, 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 those radiation things with, um, with everything from Ebola to, 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 to everything to make sure that, 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 that it would kill it 
if it, if it encountered it. And then some five or ten years later, here comes a four-star general. Oh, oh. You know, probably Richard Nixon or someone. And they're using an eyedropper to drop basically Ebola or, or Black Plague. I think it was the Black Plague. They, they, they said they were actually dropping eye-dropping Black Plague viruses or whatever onto the fish or the meat or something like that in the packing plants. And it went through my, 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 my food safe machine, which was in the back. It was just a big box, basically, you know, that, that would radiate the meat as it came, through the, uh, came down the line automatically. And they didn't even know it was there. And it was just like, and then later on, they were like, why is people getting sick? And, 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 and they, they actually tipped people off because, because they, they were like, don't eat that. Here, eat, eat some of our rations. Don't eat those rations. And so people are like, what do you mean don't eat, your, don't eat those rations? Aren't those the same rations as you? So, you know, somewhere around Vietnam or somewhere around 1930, 1940, people were like, what do you mean? We get it, at, that just comes out of the truck. Anyway, so the, this whole U.S. conspiracy that was happening between 1940 and 1950, 1960, you know, came out. I don't know exactly sure when it actually started, like somewhere between 1920 and 1960, basically. You know, that they're trying to poison millions of people. Anyway, at some point in time in the past, I'm not exactly sure. And, and like I said, it's considered national security and top secret by, by Nixon and Jimmy Carter and JFK and, and, and all the U.S. us people. Congressmen, which meant to pass through. Anyway, they're just dressing up as four-star generals or whatever and walking around. Just their, their costumes. Anyway, basically it's how, it's how the United States disgraced itself, pretty much. The U.S. disgraced itself so thoroughly and completely that there is, it's not even, you know, it's ridiculous. Anyway, though, like I say, I'm not exactly sure about all the facts. I just know about the poisoning and everything else and how it started out somewhere in in uh, China or Korea or someplace like that and it was one of my facilities. I had four major food food facilities. Anyway, the, the research had been done in Auschwitz and so and stuff. Anyway though, yeah, and then later on years, I mean, they, 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 they're setting up these things for everything basically. Anyway, checking food to make sure food was safe because, you know, there were people out there which turned out, I guess, to be the United States Congress and Jimmy Ford and Jimmy Carter and, 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 and Nixon and all the other people trying to basically poison the population and poison the military. You know, they were just, you know, the, the, the U.S.'s idea was basically since, since they were the ones doing all the bad stuff, they didn't really have to worry about catching anybody doing anything bad because, uh, because they were the ones doing it. And so that's what basically the United States, what basically the people in the White House and in the Washington, D.C. building were doing the last 80 or 60 years, for as long as, 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 as Nixon was basically alive. Anyway, and then trying to kill me, and end up killing 500 million other people or so, something ridiculous like that. I don't even know. And realistically, it was, it was mostly so if it, once everyone dead, one was dead in a town or sick in a town, they could walk through a town and just take whatever they wanted from the town. Get to all the gold. So that's one way of robbing, ro robbing a whole city. Anyway. Anyway, I'm not exactly sure when this happened. It, it, Anywhere from from the 1800s to the 1900s, or, or or somewhere, you know, somewhere in between Nixon and you know 1920 and basically present day, I'm not exactly sure, but this is pretty much what the what the U.S. Congress was doing. That and and using White Star submarines to do pirating in the in the Bermuda Triangle, trying to say, oh, it's just a bad place where ships go missing. They were hijacking the ships and then leaving the and the, and then submerging. And, and leaving the, the 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 crew to drown at sea. Anyway, yeah, that's how all those the all those the, the, the those those Americans got those flags from Japan and China. 
and sometimes at the beach where, 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 where they would get them to surrender and then they would take the flags from them, you know, and then shoot the Chinese. Mm -hmm.